This guy, I mean, I've met him because I'm a member of NSA, uh, which is National Speakers Association. He's the former president of the New Jersey chapter. He is master negotiator. Who needs to know how to negotiate better and get people to do what you want them to do? Okay, well, that's what he's going to teach you. Uh, He's internationally known, sought-after speaker. Um, I love seeing NSAers. I, I love seeing how they speak. Uh, known as the master negotiator, extensive background in management and business, uh, being a business owner since 1993. He's an author and presenter who's mastered the art of negotiating and reading body language. Now, he's going to be looking at your body (laughs) and your language. So there, all right. And he's going to teach you about negotiating. Welcome, Greg Williams. All right. I love the way you run up here. It's beautiful. Ah, All right, hey, Rich. Good evening. Okay, first of all, how many of you would agree if you can read body language, you can interpret what's on someone's mind? How many of you also know that you can lead people with your actions? How many of you think I'm a fantastic guy? <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about some ways that you can not only read people, but at the same time, a few quick negotiation strategies that you can employ in order to maximize any outcome that you seek during the negotiation. Nevertheless, though, as I was saying, as you're reading someone's body language, you can get insight into their mindset. And as you get insight into their mindset, one of the things that you do is glean information about them. Then what you have to do is base what you have picked up from them against future things that they say throughout a negotiation process. Are you with me? All right. See, I like that. You guys are right on target for sure. How do you actually detect when someone is lying? Does anyone know? Their eyes, their eyes, the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Uh, Let me have a volunteer real fast, please. Thank you. That's what happens when you sit too close, okay? (laughs) Come on down. And your name is? Kellyanne. Hey, Kellyanne. I'm Greg Williams. How are you doing? Very well. Well, That's very good, Kellyanne. You you feeling good today? I feel wonderful. Why why are you going in circles? (laughs) No, 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 no. Okay. Now, did anyone observe how Kellyanne and I shook hands? You did? Okay. What, what did you observe? <laughs> okay, never mind. What's, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? Okay. No. Um, say, there's that handshake. Did you see that? Can everyone see that? Okay, that's a nice firm handshake. Now, one of the things I could do is to actually do one of these things, which says, I'm on top. Okay? And Kelly could go, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kelly could actually grab both hands. Hold on. She could do one of these things, and she'd be in a more controlling environment with both of her hands over mine. Thank you. (laughs) Now, detecting lies from someone's eyes. Again, when you look at someone's eyes, you can observe in most cases, if someone is trying to recall something, they'll look up and to the left. So if you say, what did you do last night? People will go, oh, last night, and they'll go into reflective mode. If they're trying to be creative, what they'll do is look up and to the right. And it's like, so, last night you were out with Jill, right? Uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> you have to question when you see someone do that. Plus that, we pick up signs all day long in any environment that we're in, and thus we don't pay attention to a lot of those We signs. talked about the handshake a moment ago. There are other aspects of the handshake that you can use to actually anchor someone. Now, Kellyanne may not have realized the fact that I actually had this finger on her uh, wrist. Did you realize that? No, but guess what? If I did the same thing to you at another time, you'd go, dang, I like that guy. And you wouldn't know why, but it would be because I anchored you, because very few people shake hands with the finger on somebody's wrist, you know? And some people go, "Eh, that's weird, Greg. But no, it's not. It's yet another way to actually anchor someone. So think about different ways that you can... Assumptive questions. Does anyone know what an assumptive question is? I assume you guys know. (laughs) Assumptive questions will actually position yourself in a negotiation such that as you ask the question, so I understand that in the past you have given out million dollar book signing contracts, correct? And you got that nonverbal gesture going like this at the same time. Now the person to whom you're speaking thinks, does he know that I've given out such contracts in the past? But even if the person says, no, I haven't, you've gained some additional information. So that's one way to actually use assumptive questions. Questions to answer questions. Someone real fast, try to find out where I live. You should have picked up on it already, but real fast, real fast, real fast, because I'm running out of time. Is it interesting to know whether or not I live in Henderson, Nevada? Why? 
<laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? No. <laughs> you want to come and visit? Why would you like to come and visit? What kind of home are you looking for in the area? You just want a book, don't you? <laughs> thank you very much. Your name? Thank you, Laura. Laura, thank you, Laura. Okay, did everyone understand what just happened? Laura and I exchanged information. I got information. Laura didn't find out anything she was really looking for from me. Again, answering questions with questions is yet another way to negotiate and gather information. Now, be careful to what degree you do so, because some people go, wait a minute, you're not answering any of my questions. <laughs> you can say, you're right. Does that bother you? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, move it on, move it on, move it on. Always think about how you're going to frame a negotiation. You want to give the other person with whom you're negotiating your aspect, your perspective of what that negotiation is going to look like to you, while taking into consideration what it is that he wants from the negotiation. As you do so, you want to put meat around the frame that you've created. If you can do so successfully, you have a much better chance of negotiating down the path upon which success lies. Now, how many of you like to negotiate and win what it is that you're shooting for? Of course, exactly. Well, there's one other thing to consider. Always Negotiations are very fluid. What has occurred this moment will influence what occurs the next, but it will not be the same. So by being able to be a better negotiator, you can actually learn to read body language and enhance the outcomes that you seek. <laughs> You got off early. And, and I gave you time back. Wow, you <laughs> got off like early. Now? Good job. All right. I love those ladies with a 5 and 14 and stuff like that. That was great. Now, he actually got off early. So give him a round.